Today, the Taylor T5Z Classic. Hey, James G here with Tarpley Music in Fort Worth, Texas. You can find us at tarpleymusic.com. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not already. So the Taylor T5Z, current great hybrid by Taylor, it's just another Taylor guitar, but with a lot less calories. And it's a really fun guitar to get really cool acoustic tones and guitar tones out of all in one thing. Five-way position that will go between a humbucker that is here. There is another humbucker that is hidden underneath the neck. And then there's also a tone body sensor, which is really for the acoustic setting, is it emulates a fuller body acoustic sound. So it's a mahogany top. It's a sapelli back and sides, is an ebony fretboard, as well as an ebony bridge. So very durable, very great feeling neck. The original one was a 15 radius. This is now a 12. The body is also a little smaller. The one before was a little more 335-ish. This one has a little bit more of a single cut, less Paul feel, so really kind of gearing towards that electric side of things. You have a bass and treble tone knob that actually will boost and cut, so it's not just a roll-off kind of sense there. And then here is your overall volume. So great guitar, very versatile, and we just want to show you that. So there's a lot of great different tones you can get out of that. So we will do uh, demos of all the different five-way positions in a couple of different ways, and you'll see the versatility of this thing. So we just have the guitar going in direct now. It's going right into a direct box, right into the interface, into Studio One. The EQ is flat. So this is position one. Position one is the neck pickup with the body sensor, so your acoustic tone. So now we're going through a uh, Strymon Sunset Overdrive pedal, and we're going into the Fender Deluxe Reverb Amp, and we're going direct out into the interface. Uh, so I still have flat EQ. We're in position two. Now position two is the neck pickup only, so similar to like a neck only on a Les Paul. So here's clean. bit of overdrive from the strumming. So we move to position three. Now we're doing the bridge only pickup. So you're going to get a lot more heavier kind of a sound for a humbucker. Really step that up by throwing in some overdrive on that. So now we go into position four and we actually have both humbuckers activated in parallel. So parallel means they're both hitting the output at the same time. sound. So here's with some overdrive. And our fifth position on this is still both humbuckers, but now they're in series. pretty kind of 
uh, humbucker sound there. But you can throw some overdrive on that and definitely change it up. <laughs> So also with the EQ on this, we'll go back. This is right at, this is neck up pick only. And remember, we've got a push and pull. So you can really just take one setting. A lot of bass pu pushing and pulling from there. You get a lot of bottom if you need it. So now we want to get an idea of the versatility of this thing in a recording setting. So I'm actually going to be in position one playing the acoustic part along with some uh, rhythm tracks that I've already done. Alright, so now we're going to layer on top of what we just did. I'm actually in position two, which is the neck pickup, and I'm just going to run through uh, Empire and a couple of plugins through Studio One. <laughs> So the Taylor T5Z Classic. I just think this is a really cool guitar. And the reason is, is it's kind of a new animal. To me, it's a different thing to have in your arsenal. So, it, are, you know, is it going to replace my acoustic and my Les Paul? Well, no. I don't think that was really even the intention. For me, it makes a whole lot of sense for a guy who's doing a lot of solo gigs. Maybe you're like just in a trio or something. you got some acoustic stuff. You need to be able to throw on some overdrive you know, with some humbucker feel and then go back and forth really quick. And it does those things v very well. Uh, not to mention just the construction of it. It's so light. I mean, throwing in a gig bag, I mean, just easy to carry for those types of gigs. You heard it in just some basic, simple recording. Uh, a lot of people are recording in their apartments and stuff these days, and you want to be able to plug everything in direct and still get big sound. Uh, and I think you can. I think you can get a big acoustic sound. I think you can go direct and get a less Paul sound on the, on the one thing. And not to mention that if you're just sitting down and just songwriting, it's still got a very good just acoustic tone to itself. So I'm going to play it a little bit. All we have is our over, overhead shotgun recording this. So, so it's still got a great enough sound where you can, re, you know, you're writing and such like that. So it's, it's just extremely versatile. So I think it's worth playing. Go down, Tarpley Music pull the T5 off the wall and play it for a little bit, plugged in, not plugged in, just mess with the positions, and I think you'll be surprised. Surprised also. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit like, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and if you'd like to see as more videos drop, just hit turn on notifications. We'll see you on the next one. So now we're going to take what we just recorded, and we're going to put a lead guitar part using position 2 on the T5. Whatever this thing is called. Oh, <laughs>